Okay. Hello, Fluff Dude. I had like a kind of a little... I don't know what I did, but I mess, <laughs> had a little mess up. Uh, my name is Elizabeth Martinez, Fanta Stitches, and this is my uh, channel about cross-stitch. Um, today is uh, Saturday, July 16th, 2022. And um, I'm going to talk about a few things, a little bit of haul that I bought. Uh, yesterday was my sister Naomi's birthday and so I have a couple of things <laughs> I said here's for your birthday give them back to me because I want to talk about it on my channel so um, yeah so I have her I'm holding her presents hostage she's uh, yesterday for her birthday well she was supposed to go fishing uh, this weekend um, and uh, but uh, she uh, she had uh, booked a uh, like fly fishing excursion thing and uh, the guy had had uh, called her not to uh, not too long ago a few days ago a week ago or so and uh, warned her that uh, you know because it's it's very hot it's summertime that you know that um, <clears throat> that there was a possibility that the <clears throat> the water temperature uh, where they were gonna <clears throat> fish uh, if it was too high, they they weren't going to do it because it's a sort of a catch and release thing. But they don't want to stress the fish if the you know if the water temperature is already high. And, you know, so he was giving her a heads up that there was a possibility that it could be canceled. But you know, they were hoping for the best. But then he called her uh, a couple days ago and said that the the trip was indeed canceled. So, um, so on Thursday we had a little, uh, a little ice cream party kind of swimming party kind of thing here at the house. And then on Friday, um, she and her family were going to go up to Prescott and, uh, excuse me, uh, Prescott. And then today, uh, they're doing some things. So, uh. So I had given her her birthday gifts on Thursday, which was kind of, I, to me, I, I didn't realize that all this stuff was happening, uh, you know, because we, like I said, we sort of, you know, shifted our schedule around and everything. So, because I thought, well, you know, I could, I could do uh, my video on Friday night and, and then, you know, because I was assuming she was going to come over on Saturday because of the fishing trip being canceled, you know, anyway, so... So I gave her gifts and took them back, but but I'm gonna give them back to her. <laughs> so um, and then I did a little bit of stitching and stuff. Last week I talked about uh, the fact that I finished my um, July uh, cross stitch camp piece, and I had a couple things that I was considering for August, and I made a decision about that, and I'll talk about that. Hold just one second. Um, I want to make myself some, uh, I usually make some notes before I get started and I forgot and I just want to jot something down real quick here so I don't forget. Um, so, um. Anyway, so I will talk about what I've been stitching, and I'll go on from there. So, um, I've been working on just my two, uh, my Whipco pieces, and I uh, spent most of the time Sunday through uh, Wednesday, I guess. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah. Uh, working on Hello Pumpkin, which is one of the my whip go pieces and uh, so I did finish my owl um, before I had not done the the top of the owl's head or the uh, lighter color here above his eyes and I had not done his beak or his eyes 
the brown of his eyes. I had done just the white only, the lighter color. But then, um, I, you know, I, I can't get past the sort of my tendency to be a color completist. So I, while I had the purple here for his head, I did this part of this leaf and I did the, this whiter, uh, light colored, uh, stitching here when I was doing this around his eye, the top of his eyes. So, um, and I did, uh, this purple part of, you know, uh, leaves here. There's, I think there's one or two of these blue leaves, uh, or whatever color that is, uh, here. Um, but I did do this, uh, brown, uh, of this, this little stem. And I did uh, the bottom part of, there's a, a mushroom that goes right here. So I did the, the bottom part of it. And then up above it is reds and whites and stuff like that. But so, and there's like a, a fox, a big fox that goes, I think over here. And, uh, and then I did, uh, this is part of a leaf. And I did part of this part of this acorn, so. Yeah, so the the part below, like from below the owl, is all finished, and then I have to do this. Like I said, this there's a mushroom here, and then everything up here, you know, leaves and stuff like that. So, and this this needle binder I bought uh, from someone uh, at Stitch Nanigans in 2019. I I really like it. It's, it's wooden, but it says "Admit One Cat." <laughs> I really like that. Anyway, yeah, and that always reminds me of Stitch Nanigans, as that's where I bought it. So anyway, I've been, I worked on that for a few days. And then on, on Friday, uh, it was when we, um, oh, and uh, sorry, I meant to say, meant to show you, this is the, the Hello Pumpkin thing. I, this is still blurred out, the, the last of the, of the stitching, and I have the whole pattern, but for whatever reason, I, I don't have this, I guess, the final version of the picture. I, I don't know. But then, um, and that, uh, sorry, this material that, that I did, this is a 28 count even weave, but it's dyed with avocado, it's avocado dyed. So it's kind of, uh, it's, you, it doesn't necessarily come across uh, completely on the, video but it's kind of a pinkish it's a pinkish hue avocado dyes pink uh i use peels and and the little uh pits from the avocado and you just boil them and it and it, it turns the fabric a, a pink color i haven't done that in a while but that's what i used for that and then um this is my other whip go uh project is and heaven and nature sing with this gigantic deer in the middle it's really really pretty i just really like it so so far i've done the back half of this deer <laughs> and these two cardinals and this little uh pot here with this bird and then now this uh recently i i almost finished with the back half of the deer for some reason, I guess I started in the middle and I went backwards and I really should have done the whole thing, but you know, starting in the middle, I, I guess I, it, it was harder for me to figure out exactly where I was going. So I just did the back half. So I'm kind of hoping that I don't get a, a big line here that you can see, you know, it, it, differentiating the, the two halves. I, 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 I hope it'll all come out in the wash. But then I started working uh, on this little uh, thing around his neck here. So I did this on Friday, thur what, Thursday, and then Friday and Saturday. So I just uh, continued on from where I was. I kept thinking, well, I should put that down and go back to Hello Pumpkin and whatever. But, you know, I was doing that. So I've almost finished this back half of the deer I just have a few more stitches here and then I have to continue on um, 
to do it. And then there's a, a lighter, a lighter uh, tan color that's here under his tummy, under his tail, and and then of course I have the front legs to do. But um, so I was, you know, thinking, oh, you know, I I could go on. I have to, I have to like start a new uh, thread, uh, and um, and so I got to the end of that one thread, and I thought. Eh. And I happen to have, I was going to work on, there's a, like, a little green uh, thing underneath here. And um, it, it uses like, uh, I guess, two, two shades of, of this green color in addition to this little basis. I guess it's a, a little tree kind of thing. And I have the, the one color, the darker of the two greens and I, and I don't have the lighter one I have to you know go find it somewhere but so rather than doing that I did this little necklace thing around the around the deer's neck because it, I could count it from the you know from this from the this cardinal's beak I so I started here and I'm working my way around here and around you know around the neck but again I got to the end of this uh, thread I, ha I have some more you know, I had a, a, a skein that was pulled out, a piece of a skein that was pulled out. And um, and so I started with just the, the bit that I had, and then I did one more thread here. So <clears throat> I guess I had, yeah, I had used it to do these, these little um, green things on this bowl of berries or whatever they are. So, you know, once upon a time, so I used that as I started here, and then I had some other threads cut. So I'm working around this uh, little necklace thing. So there's the, and heaven and nature sing. And this is, I think it's 32 count, um, coffee tea dyed fabric. And, uh, yeah, so that's, and these, I think I started them in 2019, I would say, both of them. Uh, the And Henry Nature Sing um, had been around for a while. A few, I'd seen it, you know, lots of people had stitched it. And, excuse me. <clears throat> lots of people had already stitched it. And I had had looked at it and it kind of hemmed and hawed and thought, God, that's really beautiful. And then um, it came up again at some point, so I went ahead and pulled the trigger and bought it. So, but that, but then you know, and I started on it, but that was kind of a long time ago. I it may have been mania at some point, or, or I just did it, you know, bought it whenever. But, but, uh, so yeah. And um, and then for uh, August cross-stitch camp, I had talked about the different charts that I was choosing between, and I did settle on this one after all, the Hippity Hop, uh, by Primrose Cottage Stitches. And this is designed by, do I have the name of this person? Lindsay White, I think. I want to say, uh, Primrose Cottage Stitches. Yeah, Lindsay Waite is the, the person who designed it. So, um, I chose this one, and it's already small. It's like 43 by 43. This is the fabric I'm going to stitch it on. It is 40 count. So, the, the challenge for August is to do something new to you. A new fabric, a new designer, a new thread, or whatever. So I've never done anything by this designer, Primrose Cottage Stitches with Lindy Wheat. I've never done that. And I've never used as high a count as this. This is 40 count, the cat hair, <laughs> as always. Um, but this is a fabric that I bought at Hobby Lobby. It's their Artiste brand. Um, and the, the package just says, um, embroidery cotton um, 
so there's five pieces it's 15 by 18 and there's two packs they have that uh, one is this pack of like earth tones um, let me see if it says right here yeah earth tones and the other is like I think grays grays and blues and whites or grays and whites or something like that but I, I like I really like this color this it's a very light green so um, it is like I said 40 count so I, I have some needle smaller needles and I'll probably do one thread over two with this and they're all DMC colors, so it's it's not a problem. Um, but there's some really pretty colors. There's a, a really pretty tan and two uh, sort of orangey ochre colors and then this darker green. So I, I thought this is really pretty. I like the, the uh, gray fabric also, and I'll probably pick that up uh, when I get a chance. They're like like 10 bucks for this all this fabric, so not bad at all. Anyway, so like I said, I had bought those a couple weeks ago, the, that little bundle of fabric. And so I chose this one for the for that uh, August project. So that's, oh, and the other thing, um, one other thing that I have been doing, um, if I can find it here, excuse me. Oh, here it is. Um, is that for my sister, I can't get hold of this, I'm touching it, but it's like escaping my hand. Um, I had bought this little gnome some time ago, and I, you know, and I had stuck it in an hour, I thought, oh, I'm going to make a needle minder for Naomi, and I just like put it off and put it off and didn't do it. And so for her birthday, I, I made a, a little... Uh, scissor fob, I mean, excuse me, scissor fob for her. So there's the little gnome. Her name is Naomi. She goes by Nomi. She's always gone by Nomi, you know, when we were kids. And, but, so for online, so she spells it this way with a G. G N O M E E. Did I spell it right? <laughs> yeah. G N O M E E. Yeah. And I had these little, you know, uh, smiley face beads and little, I put, just put the little jingle bells on there. So, yeah. That's for Naomi. That was one of her birthday presents. And the other thing I got her for her birthday, um, because I thought, well, you know, I don't know that. She, you know, because she, uh, cross stitch is not like her first, uh, she knows how and, you know, and all that, but it's something that it's, it's not, uh, her top priority all the time, but she really liked, I, I saw this and I thought of her and I knew she would love it. So it's a dimensions kit and it comes with all the fabric and thread and needle and everything. Uh, but it's called uh, black and white hens, and she loves chickens, and and she also like you know she was talking about how for her it you know doing like you know one motif at a time uh, really works for her. So you know if she could do just one chicken, and then sometime later do another chicken, and like that you know she's more likely to 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 finish it than if it were you know like a whole full coverage scene or something like that but um yeah i want to say it looks like the the you know clouds back here are stitched but they're probably looks like maybe half stitches or something you know you know or you know half of yeah but anyway so yeah there's a chickens sitting on a standing on a fence <laughs> they're really cute so anyway i got her that as well for her birthday. And, um, so, oh, the, so, um, I, I got a little bit of haul. I think last time I showed, 
this little uh, charm and I thought it was broken. Took it back to Hobby Lobby and I thought, you know, this is broken. I want to get another one. So I went to, you know, to do the exchange and I was looking at the, in the jewelry, jewelry section and all of the daisies had this little flaw in it. And I thought, oh, so I realized it's, it's not broken. And if you look at it really closely, you know, it's not, it's not broken. It's, it's made that way. So all the, all the daisies that they have, you know, there were, were like missing a little petal like that. So, yeah. So I exchanged it for nothing. But, but while I was there, I, uh, got a couple of, of, uh, things that were on sale. Dollar forty nine can't beat that. There's a little owl, and so I'm I'm thinking uh, these will all be needle minders. I mean, scissor bobs. Excuse me, scissor bobs. There's a fox. I might already have that little box, but you know he was on sale. So, and then um, this elephant. I think I bought one of these already, but there's another one. And. Um, This is a dinosaur. Yeah, I was gonna say I I don't know what that is. it's a it's a dinosaur. It's a little. It says down here cutesy dinosaur. So if there's his little face and his little kind of like a stegosaurus, his little you know fins or whatever. So yeah. Yeah. This says owl on a branch. This says happy elephant. And this one says, fox with painted tail. Yeah, and then this, yeah, painted metal daisy, it says. Oh, and then this one, lovebirds. They have a lot of lovebirds out here in, in, uh, in Phoenix. Lots of, look at that, they're so cute. Anyway, um, so yeah, I, I picked up all of those. And then um, the other thing I did was I had talked about um, making needle minders out of, uh, out of resin. So, so I completed these. They have little magnets on the back there. So, so this is one that I completed. And this is, this is the one, the, the first one. So it's not perfect, but it's, you know, I want, oh, sorry. I went ahead and, and uh, made it into a, a needle minder as well. But um, the reason I was making those is, I'm going to show you this and segue into the Etsy shop stuff, an Etsy shop update. So uh, in the Etsy shop, I, we talk, I talked about this, I think, last week. But um, there's this project bag. Very pretty, with a um, little dragonfly charm. My sister Eve made these little dragonflies. She had, the, you know, the beads and everything. So she, because she couldn't find anything that you know she that really spoke to her, as far as the zipper pulls for for these bags. So she made this little dragonfly. Stick it on there. So there's the the pro the actual project bag. Excuse me. And then a matching notions pouch. And these are all going to be sold as a set, right? So there's the notions pouch with a uh, matching dragonfly and 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 the the this purple fabric that was on the bottom of the project bag is what's on the inside and there's the purple zipper so this little uh, project bag and then um, as also part of the set is a scissor fob made of dragonflies and a matching needle minder So, like I said, these are all together as part of a set. 
and that is on the Etsy, Etsy site. Three Sisters Creative. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and look at that. And um, also, I had talked about, excuse me. Oh, like, oh, grab this off, tipping it up, it's very heavy. These are all the needle minders that we have. Not needle minders, I keep saying that. Scissor fobs, scissor fobs. So, um, I went through and, and hung these all up on the, you know, there's there are seasonal ones, there's some little jack-o'-lanterns and some Christmas ones, as well as just various things. There's, uh, I'm looking for, we're looking for a way to con sort of consolidate uh, all of these, you know, things in a way that um, where we could easily get at them and, and see what, you know, we have to offer. There's some little fish. There's some chunky southwestern kind of things. There's one, I have one cicada. <laughs> with the little eyes. And there's a one with elephants. There's a little elephant charm. Little tiny elephants. And a steampunk kind of elephant on the end. And um, uh oh, there's uh, some this is a little, a little camper. Oh. And so on and so forth. So there's a whole bunch. If you look on our Etsy site, you can get a, a better you know picture of what we have available but i i like this little display thing um got it at hobby lobby and it and it's a it's a like a, a, a jewelry it's in the jewelry jewelry making area excuse me one second <clears throat> oh that's what that was <laughs> okay and um it's made to display uh, necklaces, bracelets, whatever. So yeah, I thought, well, that's that's exactly what we need. Um, anyway, that's all. You know, go ahead and check out the Etsy shop, Three Sisters Creative. And otherwise, um, I bought uh, for Prime Day. Excuse me, I got glitter on my face. <laughs> um, Prime Day was the, whatever, the 12th and 13th, I think, or whatever. And I've been meaning to, to look on Amazon for some things. And so I thought, well, it's, you know, it's Prime Day, whatever. I might as well <laughs> take advantage of it. But um, so one thing I was, I was looking for were these uh, cable loop things. And I bought a little package of them. Um, I had seen that, you know... Um, Stephanie and Pam and Steph had talked about them. And there's some pluses and minuses with them. I have like some of those binder clip, binder rings uh, that I have uh, on my fancy floss on. And some of, I have a couple of them that are easy to open and close and others that are just really, really hard to, they're, I don't know if they're just bent a certain way or whatever. But, but I just have to like wrestle and squish them, you know, and it's, it really, it hurts my hand and it's difficult and, you know, so I was looking for these cable ties that, and, you know, it's funny because like when I, when I opened the package and I was getting them out, I thought, well, this is, this doesn't work. How does this work? This actually goes down here and covers that up. And then these, um. Uh, screw together and it's a little bit hard because because the this little cable wants to you know open up so it kind of you know pulls against it but uh, and these are smaller they're, they're not as big as the little the three inch binder clip things that I have but um, 
I think they will, you know, so I'll have fewer threads on a, on a loop, whatever. But um, I think it'll be easier to use as I fussle with it and have trouble with it. Anyway, um, so I got a whole bunch here. I think I got 12, yeah. 12 of them. I probably could have looked for bigger ones, you know, like longer, but, um, but yeah, so I got these. And the, uh, other thing, uh, I got was a pack of, I want to say, I, I forget how many of these I've got, but a, a pack of, of, of these little, uh, zipper pouch things. And, you know, we make uh, project bags, but um, my older sister sews them. And, and, and the ones, you know, that, that, that she makes, we put on our Etsy site. And so I don't want to, you know, like appropriate those or whatever. So um, I know that they have these on Amazon. And so, yeah, they, they're, they're, um, not as durable as a nice nice cloth project bag um they tend to get a little you know scrunchy after a while you know if you use them for a while but um but they're you know a nice uh, inexpensive alternative so this this pack of a whole bunch there different colored ones red purple yellow um i, I want to say yeah, 24. It's a t pack of 24. It wasn't, it wasn't very expensive at all, all things considered. Um, it, I, think, I think it was like 18 bucks for, you know. So, like I said, those will, you know, come in uh, handy for all the projects that I have. But um, the other thing that uh, to me was was very funny I, I talked about this uh on our three sisters creative uh sticks and strings video that'll come out tomorrow sunday but um you know one of the, one of the things my mother used to say all the time was when you clean you find treasures <laughs> and um and for the longest time i was you know, I was looking for this corner gauge that I knew I'd gotten, that I had. Um, we got them at, when we were at Stitch Nanigans, uh, they, they were among the little gifts that we got from the attic. They were, uh, you know, uh, manufactured there at the attic. And I think for a while uh, they had them for sale at the attic. I, I haven't seen uh, say any of them lately. I don't know if they don't, don't have them or I'm just look, not looking in the right place. But anyway, so I had this corner gauge and I, uh, for those of you who don't know, a corner gauge, you know, this is a, a two inch mark. So this is the corner of the fabric and this is two inches in, this is two and a half inches in, this is three inches in. So if you're starting in the corner, this gives you a good, uh, you know, the way to tell how far in you are from the, the corner of the fabric. So anyway, I knew I had this and I was looking for it. It, it. It's something I was starting and I was looking for the corner gauge and I was like, you know, I have a bag that has like various uh, s stitching things. I have pencils and scissors and whatever in it. So I thought, well, I know it's got to be in there. And I was like, it's not in this pocket. It's not in that pocket. I don't know. Maybe, I, you know, I... I stuck it somewhere else maybe it's down in the in the main pocket I, and I can't find it whatever but I had a, a clear plastic one that I bought at Hobby Lobby it was also a, a, a corner gauge and so I was using that one because I had that one handy so I used that one and I thought well I know that wooden one is around somewhere I just can't find it and when um, the other day when I got out my um, and having the nature sing, I was, you know, digging around in there, and I had pulled out the, uh, the the little notion pouch that I had in there uh, to make sure that I had all the threads. 
Um, so I guess this was Thursday when we filmed the, the Sticks and Strings video. I had, you know, was getting that, that um, and Heaven and Nature Sing uh, ready to work on during the video. And I found this in the project bag. And I didn't even use it when I started that, that, uh, that uh, cross stitch because I started in the middle. You know, that's why I ended up working on the, the horse's butt, I mean the deer's rear end, because I had started in the middle of the fabric rather than starting at the corner because, it, you know, it's, it's got all these little, little motifs and stuff and so I didn't want to start in the corner. So I don't know why this corner gauge was was in that bag, but I may have just I may have just had it and just stuck it in there or whatever to keep from losing it or something. But yeah, so I'm putting it in my little pocket of things. But oh, you know the the I showed that that um, rack with all the the uh, needle, uh, scissor fobs on there. And when I was going through there, I one of them had, like kind of came apart, and I thought, oh, and I realized I didn't make it uh, right. That I left a, a knot off of there, and so so I fixed the three I think that I found that, that were made that way. And so uh, when I was going over them again, I thought I, I kind of got a little suspicious of another uh, couple of things that I had done and and those had the same problem the same I had left a knot off of them and so they, they like if you pull on them hard enough they came apart so you know because there was there was a time when because I wasn't making them all the time that I would forget kind of like wait did I do that right and so this these few particular ones I realized I had I had skipped a step. I'd missed a step. The other ones are fine. Since then, you know, I was like I have I know exactly how I'm making them now, and so you know it's not a problem now. But those so so I have uh, I have a few more that I need to to fix to work on and fix. But you know, true confessions. Sorry. Um. But um. But anyway, so. Uh, feel free, to, like I said, to check out the Etsy shop to look for project bags, scissor fobs, needle minders, um, you know, as well as there's uh, some little patterns on there. Um, my sister Eve has has created some patterns that are there's some that are that are smaller that are seasonal, um, and sort of various different holidays and and everything that. Are, are small, they're PDFs, you can download them very easily, and um, other things like that. So, um, so feel free to, to, to uh, check out our Etsy shop. Um, I think that is everything I have right now. Um, yeah. So I'm hoping that by next week I'll have, I'll have, uh, I think I might have finished Hello Pumpkin, done my 10 days is my goal on there. So I think I might have, I might hit it by next Saturday. I, ha I have six more days to go on, on Hello Pumpkin. So if I'm not finished with it, by when well, I finished the goal, I'm, I don't think that I'll finish the, the actual stitching because it's kind of a lot of stitching. You know, you know it, it doesn't seem like a lot and, and you know, it's um, because, you know, these, these little motifs, you know, that just a leaf here and a leaf there, whatever, you know, I, I think this is the acorn that I was, that I did the bottom part of it, you know. But um, but it, it takes a little bit longer than you think, and there's kind of some big things there. There's a big this pumpkin's pretty big. There's a hedgehog. It's, excuse me, it's blurred out right here. But there's a hedgehog here, and this fox is kind of big. And this is the, this is the mushroom that I'm working on right now that I've done the, the bottom stems of. 
but so each little uh, motif, you know, each motif takes kind of a long time. So it's it's deceptively, you know, it seems like it it's it, it little and easy, and you know, but but those things, you know, each each one takes a a little time to do. So so I don't know how much I'll get done in the in the ten days that are uh, for the for the whip go uh, goal but but you know I'm hoping that um, that I can make good progress on each one so that so that whenever I get back to it whenever that may be next year <laughs> um, <clears throat> maybe I'll I'll be able to to you know to finish those uh, next time whatever I don't know anyway so um, I will see you next week and we'll see what kind of progress I've made and and probably you know only whip go um, stitching I haven't I haven't done any new starts or anything like that I though I'm I'm kind of tempted with a couple of things so um, I don't know I just I you know I'm itching to do something different I guess or something I don't know um, but we'll, we'll see. So anyway, um, until then, I think that's all I have to talk about. I'm always thinking that I'm forgetting something. I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think that's probably it. So I will see you next week. And until then, keep stitching. Bye.